Oh, hello. This is Kyle Byron, the Toronto nutritionist. And this is what my, or our kitchen looks like on a typical weekday. You can see shaker cups and there's some water boiling on the stove. We've got some supplements and a couple dirty dishes kicking around, but that's life. Speaking of life, I was uh, going through some of my old life and I'll spare you the story of what this portfolio was used for in the past, but it was academic and anyways, I cleared it out and threw most of it in the garbage as time goes by and what a nice portfolio this was and all these clear pieces of plastic to slot things in and I thought this is a good time for me to make a recipe book. So I just want to show you what I've done. So basically I have, like I said, these little clear plastic sheets and I can slot in uh, a recipe for say this eggplant uh, chips with tzatziki which I haven't tried in fact this whole section of the recipe book is things that I haven't tried yet there's some burgers there back here at the start that's my Moroccan spice blend that's a secret although I guess you just saw it right there and my mom's chicken or turkey a la king one of my favorite recipes actually I don't think I've ever made that myself yet very very thin pancakes that's uh, a favorite around here my hummus well, you get the idea. And back here at the back, we got some cocktails. And then I just printed off some recipes today that I'm gonna slot in. You know, this is makes a couple of wins here, really. So first of all, I get to play with markers and scissors. That's always fun. Secondly, I got to consolidate a lot of loose leaf recipes that were literally just tucked into drawers and shelves and my daughter will play with them and perhaps tear them up <clears throat> and so those are all saved and I jokingly said to my wife last night I said maybe this recipe book will be my entire legacy you know when I'm gone maybe this is the only thing that you know there's any evidence of me around it could just be this book and you know what that wouldn't be such a bad thing and you know what else about legacies I got some of my mom's recipes in here and you know, I could put other few, you know, friends and family's recipes in here and, you know, people aren't around forever. But if you make a recipe that they gave you, then they're still alive in our hearts. And, you know, that's just a touching thing about nutrition. It's not all about macro, macronutrients and calories. It's about recipes and making something of your own. And compiling things over the years in your journey and your relationship with food. So if you're watching this video, I encourage you to do that. It doesn't have to be as business-like as that. It could just be a, it could start with a big stack of papers somewhere in a drawer. And, but I do encourage you to start gathering things. You see a nice picture of a recipe in a magazine or you're at a picnic or something, you're at your friend's house. Hey, how do you make that? Jot it down and compile that. And then you can start to build your own recipe book. And uh, it's a good exercise as well for someone getting into food for the first time. It can really change uh, your relationship with food in, in a good way. Even though maybe half of the things in here are desserts and treats. They're not all that way. But anyways, that's it for today. I'm Kyle Byron, the Toronto Nutritionist. If you like videos like this, search around my YouTube channel or follow me on Instagram. Thanks for watching and good luck with your recipe book.